So don't tell us, Mr. Mayor, we know it's good for us. You wouldn't ask Al Sharpton what's good for the black community. Al Sharpton knows what's good for the black community. It's time that we know what's good for the Jewish community. Uh, Mayor Giuliani, you were criticized by Mayor de Blasio uh, today. You were criticized by Mayor de Blasio today. you have any comment? Uh, protesting is a First Amendment right. All I'm doing is exercising my First Amendment right. So I can't imagine why he would protest, why he would uh, object. They have a right to go to the opera. I have a right to protest the opera. Do you think they have a right to? They have a right to go. I don't think they should go, but they have a right to go. And I have a right to protest. That's America. Mr. Mayor, will you call it an opera? I have the First Amendment right to put on this opera. I have the First Amendment right. Having now studied the opera, I'm not somewhat ignorant of the opera. I know it in detail. Someone having studied the opera, I've come to the conclusion that the opera is historically inaccurate, extremely dangerous, very bad, and I'm protesting. I have a right to have that opinion. Do you think the current mayor should be here right now? It depends on his opinion. I think it's a good thing that Jews are out speaking out for Jewish issues. The main concern is not about me, it's not about Jews. The main concern is it's going to set precedence for first they have Jews, then they have Christians, then they have everybody. It must be stopped. Now, would you go to the opera again, or no, are you no, going to no, boycott? I'm going to, no, I'm not going to again. No, no, absolutely not. It says, first of all, this guy must be fired. This guy must be fired. It's not about only opera. It's about mindset of people like him, the enablers of Jewish persecution, and he, got, he has to be fired. Mayor Giulia, uh, Giuliani was criticized by Mayor de Blasio today for uh, protesting. Do you have any comment? Oh, I don't think he was criticized for protesting. Uh, I think what uh, de Blasio said is that the Metropolitan Opera has the right to put on the opera. I agree with that. The Nazis have a right to march through Skokie. People have the right to glorify the Ku Klux Klan. People have the right to glorify the Mafia or Hamas, but they shouldn't do it. So I'm not sure they're on different pages, ultimately. Uh, you, would you have liked to see Mayor de Blasio, though, uh, here, speaking? Oh, he's not? He wasn't here? Yeah, I, would, I think it would have been good for him to be here. Well, I think it's wonderful that there are people like myself and thousands of other people rallying and saying that this is the wrong thing to do. Um, this is not about free speech. This is about poor taste. And it's poor taste in this opera glorifying the murder of an American Jewish man from New York City in New York City that witnessed terrorist attacks on September 11th, and, and, and it's just something that I couldn't sit still uh, in that common protest. Now the we have 40 percent increase of anti-Semitic attacks in New York, and he said, Peter Gelb said, come on, in Europe it will be a show, but in America it's fine, in New York it's fine. Let him send, go to Brooklyn, to Barclays Center, when anti-Semitic attacks attack Leonard Petla from King's Bay Wild. It shouldn't be anywhere, it shouldn't be anywhere, it shouldn't be in production. Shame on us that we allow this. Shame on us to think of one thing. Follow the money. These things happened here because someone paid for it. This opera happened here because someone funded it. It's strange we don't know why or who funded it. It's strange and not proud to say we put up the money to have this opera here. We put up the dollars to see this done in New York City. I'm sure down the road we'll find out that some group, maybe Hamas, Maybe some of our friends at the UN across town funded this for 70,000 people. It is a Jewish community where you can walk and wear your prayer shawl on Shabbos. It's a Jewish community that you can have a kosher meal. It is important that all of us speak out against anti-Semitism. It is important all of us recognize when something is against the Jewish community and we speak out for it. Thank you for coming. Thank you for sitting in the wheelchairs. Thank you for caring. When Jews are targeted for murder, it's a big deal. And when it is whitewashed as art, it's an even bigger deal. My friends, the morality of societies depends on their ability to distinguish right from wrong. 
Their ability to call an outrage a murder. Their ability to call terrorists what they are. Do you know why things have gotten so bad in a country where I spent 11 years in England? Because when this opera was performed at the National Theater in 2012, when Death of Klinghoffer appeared in London in 2012, everybody said, it's not a big deal. My friends, Leon, Leon Klinghoffer's blood cries out from the earth. He has no voice. We must be his voice. The voice of Jewish victims everywhere cries out. The people who wear a yellow star to remember the six million that as it got worse and worse in Nazi Germany, everybody said, it's still not a big deal. Peter Gelb, morality is a big deal. Murder is a big deal. Terrorism is a big deal. God bless you all, the Jewish people, the American people. We should live with our moral convictions and with our strong voice. This is nothing less that an anti-Semitic, anti-Israel propaganda opera disguised cleverly in the high culture of an opera. That's what this is. <laughs> we shouldn't be shocked about John Adams writing this. One of his great heroes is Edward Said, the Israel basher from Columbia. He said he's read virtually everything of his. And that's one of the reasons that John Adams has said he's looking for the humanity in terrorists. Let me say, if one humanizes murderers of gays, you're anti-gay. If one humanizes murderers of blacks, you're anti-black. If one humanizes rapists, you're anti-women. And if one humanizes the murder of Jews, you're anti-Semitic. You're anti-Semitic. That's right. <laughs> All that is... And let me say publicly and finally, I am horrified that the mega millionaire donors to this opera have continued to give millions of dollars a year to this opera house. That includes Bloomberg, that includes Annenberg, that includes the Toll Brothers real estate firm, and that includes the Neubauer Foundation from Philadelphia. We should be condemning these funders who yeah. have not only remained silent, but continues to give the money that maintains this opera, that allows such operas to be held here.